We returned to Senegal to solve the challenge of transporting our heavy machinery and tools across rural areas of Senegal and providing accommodation to our team working at these remote sites. Our concept, which we call the Rolling Circus, is to turn a standard 20-foot shipping container into a seven-room apartment on wheels, capable of dragging our telescopic loader, tool room and toilet on a trailer behind it. We hope that this will be capable of getting us out of the inevitable trouble that will come with off-road driving between remote villages, especially during the rainy season. More power, you know? More solar power. Rolling Circus Container has arrived and we're now going to start unpacking it. We have to build out the materials in here, a sleeping structure that goes on top of the Iveco. JCB is over there, four containers here which are for installation and then the one that's being rebuilt to the Rolling Circus. Now we're starting to see the, the, the shapes for the, the rolling circus. Here we have the first two doors, or the first two effectively rooms, and on the floor here we have the framework for the other four rooms. People have been asking me quite often, well, why are you building the rolling circus structure in, in Senegal? Having people work here for us for a few weeks, welding, digging the ground, doing electrics, and all the other bits and pieces that go with building this rolling circus is actually a really good recruitment process for us and it's allowing us to see who functions and who doesn't function so that when we bring people out with us into the field we're absolutely well, not completely sure right but we're pretty sure that they're going to be the, the right people for our team i did that myself today i just cut out this section here and put the door in so now the rolling circus has its entry door so this is the first floor section upwards facing part so one two three four living spaces Now the first uh, floor section has been completed and it's being carried around. I think it weighs about 200 kilos or something like that. And we're going to put it on the floor now with uh, the spaces for the blocks. That So basically it's going to be like the real floors. One, two, three, up. made now it's welded in one centimeter to the left ah. we just completed the just the basic assembly of these things <laughs> Maybe when we paint it white, it doesn't look it's so much like now. a prison. Still, you know, privacy, sort of. We're getting close with the, the, the living container rolling circus. I think we're getting a good team together now. So our confidence that when we go out into the field, it's going to be good. I'm just being impatient. I'm being really impatient right now. Now we're coming on to the finishing touches. Seal everything off to seal the floors off. Seal all the boards off to make sure everything's waterproof and coated. It's looking pretty good. Standing in the furniture container right now. We've been cutting that up now because we're gonna cut that in two pieces and make this into the toolbox and the toilet room. Right. Oh. The toolbox container is coming out really nicely. It's almost like it's a piece of art. The way it's welded together on the top where they've taken all this metal and bent it into place wow. and right now it's completely bare, there's no rust on it. And it just looks great. The toilet is one step closer to becoming reality. We need to have tools here. Yeah. Tools here. Yeah. Everywhere yeah. tools. Okay. Okay. okay, the lorry has arrived now. The tires are massive. But that's what you need if you want to go off-road for two years in a row, dragging around a whole bunch of heavy equipment. So that's what we have. Three of these. So we can keep on increasing at the pace of our installations up to 100 a year.
Okay, this is almost a bit anticlimactic because it just doesn't get stuck. I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> Look at that thing. We need to extend the back of this by a half a meter and then we need to basically take this off. We can do that here because we've got the tools for it. Getting ready now to remove the uh, tipper. Conveniently, we have two JCBs standing around. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is gonna swing like this. Hey, 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 hey. Ah, they just lifted it anyway and it just swung forward. Just need to reposition one of them because it's far too far forward. Thankfully, they managed to put it down before it actually swung into the cabin. I'd only said it like five times. <laughs> blue beam that you see down below me it's put in i think there's 32 bolts 16 on each side we welded in the original attachment for the tow bar exactly like it was before but on the blue one by by spreading it out and making it a bit wider and then welding it back together again it drives right now but it doesn't have full power 25 50 percent power it's not enough i'll drive yeah second gear We are driving three kilometers an hour in a lorry that has 413 horsepower. Where's the power? He has a few things to work on. It's gonna be my angry video. I'm just shouting at everybody today. I'm not normally like that. I'm just really pissed off. Today. Okay, how do you say I have, do I have power? I'm now Kura, I'm now Dole, Dole. I'm the Dole. Okay, let's try. Yeah! Now we're talking! <laughs> okay, merci. Thank you. <laughs> merci beaucoup. <laughs> okay, we're gonna plunk it on top of the trailer. I think we should make eight and then have them overhang by 20 centimeters. Okay. More power, you know? More solar power. On va maintenir les six sur le long. Et les deux sur l'autre côté. Yeah, six on here, two on here. Yeah, let's do that, <laughs> Check it out, JCB, toolbox, toilet, sleeping container, the rolling circus. Now we just need to go. I hope this works. <laughs> I hope this works. Be sure to join us next time as the rolling circus hits the road to get out to the first villages where we're going to be installing these systems.